with the Nikon ZFC, the best mirrorless travel camera on the market in 2022. The manufacturer gave the whole configuration an upgrade, and we now get digital images of 20.9 million effective pixels or 4K videos. Nikon has also introduced a new 16 to 50 millimeter zoom lens in silver to complement this model's retro style. It can be purchased separately or with a camera. The seductive retro vibe with the tactile buttons, levers, and wheels is truly special, and we love it. While newcomers may initially be stunned by the three hand wheels on the top panel that control shutter speed, exposure compensation and ISO sensitivity, you'll get accustomed to the new system easily. The LCD screen variable with tilt angle is also useful, and the touch screen allows you to capture images by simply touching the desired subject on the screen. Just like on a typical DSLR, the on-off switch ergonomically surrounds the shutter release button so we could get started quickly. The colors this model delivers are rich without being unnatural. Also, there are pleasant out-of-focus backgrounds and sharp subjects with zoom provided. However, the exposure can be easily and quickly reduced if necessary via the exposure compensation wheel on the top plate. The ISO 100-51-200 range will allow you to shoot by hand without flash in most situations, avoiding camera shake and image blur. The device features touch tracking autofocus on a subject locked screen, and ZFC detects faces and eyes with reasonable speed, precision, and reliability. High-speed action sequences can be shot at up to 11 frames per second in perfect extended mode with progressive autofocus and auto exposure. The Nikon ZFC is a compact 20.9 megapixel APS-C camera. Unlike Nikon's previous model, which took DSLR and removed features in the name of its retro reconstruction, the FC is not at all distracting. It can take full resolution photos of up to 11 frames per second and 4K video at 30 FPS for up to 30 minutes at a time. Good stuff. Up next, check out the Sony ZV-1. The best vlogging travel camera on the market in 2022, this powerful, compact and functional camera offers all the tools you need, whether you're just starting a vlog or you're an experienced professional who needs a few additional tools. The design is minimal, made of black plastic with a subtle texture. Also, Sony set up a suitable touchscreen on this video focused camera much better than the ones that roll over on top of the camera. For professional users who want to record sound from a dedicated microphone, the manufacturer has included a 3.5mm port on the right, just above the micro USB and mini HDMI ports. The ZV-1 has a Sony Bionz X image processor. The great thing about sensors is that it puts the camera in intelligent automatic or automatic movie shooting mode, and it'll usually quickly detect what's happening in the scene and adjust the settings to suit it. Another important feature is the instant background blur mode. Looking at the lens mechanism when you press the dedicated mode button, we see that the ZV-1 mechanically switches to a wider aperture. When it comes to auto tracking and autofocus, it's as fast and accurate as any of Sony's modern cameras, mainly thanks to the one inch sensor that offers both phase detection points on its surface. Sony's extra effort in the ZV-1 was to introduce a built-in microphone system that's good enough to use on the go without any mic accessories. And for the most part, that effort paid off. Video recording and speech to the camera gives clear, loud sound. The ZV-1 achieves a top speed of 30 frames per second when set to full resolution, but can shoot up to 60 frames per second in 1080p. Perhaps the only thing that makes it less versatile as a camera is the zoom length. It is only three times optical zoom equivalent to 24 to 70 millimeters, which is not so versatile in that respect. Overall, this is a quality product. The next product we'll talk about is the Panasonic ZS200, the best compact travel camera available on the market in 2022. Like the previous model, it's equipped with a large sensor offering a resolution of 20 megapixels, capable of recording 4K videos. The zoom lens has been extended to telephoto range, now zooming in at 15 times. Additionally, the viewfinder and touchscreen have a higher resolution, while the optical image stabilizer is of course still on board. With the new linear focus drive engine, Panasonic wants to speed up the already fast autofocus even more. Sensor reading works at 240 frames per second, and the screen is of course touch sensitive. The resolution on the other hand has been increased from 1.04 to 2.23 million pixels. The electronic viewfinder has also been revised, while the magnification went up from 1.24 times to 1.45 times. Panasonic ZS200 is designed both for photography beginners and seasoned enthusiasts, with intelligent automatic mode with scene recognition, filter effect mode, panorama mode, as well as classic creative programs. Video mode works at a maximum 4K resolution at 30 frames per second. In Full HD, on the other hand, you can go up to 120 frames per second. The stereo microphone is located on top of the camera 
and even in video mode, the photographer or videographer has complete control over the exposure. Features for 4K videos are also on board. An integrated VLAN for wireless image transfer and remote camera control via the app is now complemented by Bluetooth for a permanent connection to the smartphone. The 3-inch touchscreen monitor is located on the back. Unfortunately, the monitor cannot be moved which makes using the camera from a frog and bird's eye view more challenging. The precision of the touch function is very high, and therefore the use and practice is pleasantly simple, fast and safe. The two physical connections of the camera are on the right side under the plastic cover. In detail, there's a micro HDMI interface and a micro USB connector. As for the battery, it has 1025 mAh and 7.2 volts. It should provide enough power for 370 exposures. Thumbs up, that's for sure. Up next, check out the Olympus OM DE M10 Mark IV, the silver medalist for today and the runner-up best travel camera on the market in 2022. Despite its complex name, this Olympus model is a simple and compact beginner's mirrorless cam. If you're a beginner or a passionate photographer looking for a compact body that constantly takes interesting photos, this camera should be on your list. Of course, the EM10 Mark IV lacks some of the more advanced features promoted by its more expensive rivals, such as phase detection autofocus, 4K 60p video and microphone headphone inputs, but it does a brilliant job as a camera that can record quality video when needed. The available camera key layout in combination of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi functionality means that this device is primarily designed to attract smartphone photographers to use a camera with interchangeable lenses. And as a micro four-thirds camera, it has one of the widest lens options. The big advantage of this camera is the excellent image stabilization inside the body. This system is the same as the one used in Olympus's award-winning flagship EM1 series and works wonders for capturing images at slower shutter speeds on your handheld device. The device also manages to stand out with its classic OMD style, ultra compact body and excellent IBIS system. The 20 megapixel is a welcome addition and an important step over the predecessor's 16 megapixel sensor. The first thing that strikes you about the EM10 IV is its small size. It's small enough to fit in your pocket, even with the lens attached. The LCD touchscreen is the most ambitious in this series so far. This time the screen tilts up to 90 degrees to shoot at hip height and tilts down 180 degrees in the other direction. The OLED viewfinder remains unchanged from the previous model and offers a clear view of the scene in front with layered settings. This means that once you're familiar with the design, you no longer have to look away from the viewfinder to make adjustments. The device is powered by the TruePic 8 image processor, which reduces noise in low-light images and has an original ISO sensitivity range of ISO 200 to 6400. Using high-resolution 20 megapixel micro four-thirds sensors, the EM10 Mark IV captures a significantly greater dynamic range compared to smartphones and other cameras with small sensors. This is a quality product, and all we can do is recommend it. Finally, we present the Fujifilm X-S10, the best overall travel camera on the market in 2022. This model marks a bold new step in the company's quest to make a premium camera without mid-range mirrors. Taking many of the advantages of its flagship Fujifilm X-T4, including body image stabilization, and placing them in a smaller, cheaper body, this model has become one of the best cameras to date for beginners and photography enthusiasts. The Fujifilm X-S10 is designed as a true universal device that is just as comfortable for video recordings as it is for photos. You get a proven combination of 26.1 megapixel X-Trans CMOS4 sensors and 4X processors, plus the ability to record uncut 4K 30p video. The image quality of the photos is excellent. Another important thing to mention, the IBIS XS10 system is a real bonus for such a small camera. If you shoot a lot by hand, it can help preserve the image quality by allowing you to use faster shutter speeds. This feature alone gives it a huge advantage over the Nikon Z50, Fujifilm X-T30, and even Fujifilm X-T3. The design is both old-fashioned and modern. At first glance, the camera looks like a slightly smaller Fujifilm X-T4 with a wider and deeper grip, and the difference in size is not that significant from X-T4. The magnesium alloy construction gives this model a superior feel, unlike cheaper models such as the Fujifilm X-T200. The XS10 viewfinder is pretty good, while the variable angle touchscreen that rotates 180 degrees forward makes the device versatile for videos and photographs. The vlogging credentials are enhanced with a 3.5mm microphone input for external microphones. The X-S10 can take photos at 8 frames per second in fast mode using a mechanical shutter. All in all, considering that you get a top body, IBIS, versatile screen, impressive image quality, and charming retro design, this camera offers a lot of value for money. You wanted the best, you got it.